What's up guys, it's Fraser here and today I am playing an early access game that is available on Steam called I Am Bread. Now for those of you who haven't heard of I Am Bread, which is probably most of you, it is a game where you play as a piece of bread and the main objective is to toast yourself. So there are a range of modes here. So the mode that I was talking about is story mode where you play as a piece of bread and you've got to toast yourself. Um, there are varying different modes here where you can play as a bagel or a uh, whatever kind of piece of bread. This is a baguette, um, but I'm going to go right ahead and start up the story mode here where there are a range of different levels that you can play, but I'm going to go right ahead and start off in the kitchen here. So there is a story that accompanies this game and it talks about how some guy moved into this house and he starts going crazy because he thinks people are breaking in but then he thinks that this piece of bread is actually wrecking his house, which is the truth, but if anybody said that to another then they would be considered crazy, wouldn't they? Now, as you can see on the top left of the screen there is an edibility meter, so the objective of this game is to toast yourself but you also need to maintain your bread's edibility. So what that means is that you can't get yourself dirty. If you do get yourself dirty, like uh, jumping on that plate of fish bones there, or perhaps going on the floor where all of those dirty footprints are, or getting up amongst on the walls where it could be dirty, see it looks a bit dirty on that wall over there, then you will lose edibility. If your edibility gets down to zero, then you will not become toast, and that is not what you want. Along with edibility, there is also a factor called deliciousness. Now, deliciousness is based on what you can get on your bread before toasting it. So right now, I'm spazzing out trying to get into this butter container here because butter will add to my edibility. It also makes you very slippery on surfaces, which is good and bad, depending on whether you need fine movements or fast. There's also jam here, but I dislike getting jam on my bread because they do the opposite of butter and make you super, super sticky, and then you just can't move off any surface, you're just too sticky. You can also get some baked beans on you there, but I'm just going to stick with the butter. So, within each level, there will be some way to toast yourself. Right now on this level, I can see that there is a toaster off in the distance that is steaming, and there's also a stove just around on the right of the toaster which you probably can't see at the moment but to get over there anyway I'm gonna have to cross over this gap and get over the floor so I'm gonna do that by flinging myself onto this chair here so I'm gonna left bumper right bumper grab each corner of the bread and fling oh okay we made it we made it on to the chair here we go now I'm gonna oh this ain't good this is good not wow what just happened Okay, what I'm trying to do is get this chair back onto the ground and fling it back the other... Oh! Fling it back this way, but not when the bread is stuck on partially the underside of the thing. Okay, so I, I don't want to get on the floor here. This isn't good. This is not good at all. Oh, I'm just hovering above the floor. Ugh, come on. I'm also running out of grip. As you guys can see, there is a grip meter in the middle of the screen, top middle of the screen, and if that runs out then you will fall and I'm about to hit the ground, no! Oh come on, come on, get off get off the floor, get off the floor, get onto the chair. So being on that floor reduced my edibility, as you got to see, and the controller shaking because I'm losing grip, I'm going to fall again. Oh no, 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 okay, come on. Come on, come on, there we go. Climbing up, climbing up. Whew. Okay, I think I'm just going to have to get onto this dryer here, which is in the kitchen for some reason. It's kind of weird. And we'll spin up this wall here. So a good technique to climb up surfaces is to alternate between the trigger on one side and the bumper on the other if you're using a controller. So as you saw just then, I was going right trigger, left bumper, or it might have been left trigger, right bumper. I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter. But that's an easy way to climb up surfaces very quickly. Now I'm skidding along this bench here because I'm trying to get to the toaster, but there's the stove as well, and this guy has sillily left one of his elements on, which we can use to toast ourselves. So I'm just going to skid over here without falling off onto the floor, try and climb up the fridge here, left trigger, right bumper, left trigger, right bumper, I hope this doesn't go to the, nope, we can climb on top of this cabinet here. If I don't fall off first, here we go. Okay, we're on. Now, let's get along here. 
And I don't want to get in that water because that will lo make me lose edibility very quickly. And I also don't want to touch that wall down there because that thing is moldy ass. So I'm just going to skid off here. Oh, and smash all of his plates. Because this bread doesn't care about anything except for getting toasted. Oh, oh, oh! Ooh, that was close. Let's get back onto the bench here. So this is where the butter is a downside because I'm skidding all over the place. Trying to just control myself. I'm, I'm wanting to go along the front of the sink here. Here we go. Come on. Trying to... Oh, I'm, I'm going to fall. Uh oh. I don't want to get in the water either. Oh, oh. Okay. We're alright. We're alright. Okay, now I need to traverse this gap here and avoid falling into Meow Nom's bowl. I don't know what this cat eats. That looks bizarre, that red pasty stuff down there. Looks like blood. Anyway, I'm going to try and fling myself over here. 3, 2, 1, go! Bam! Like a boss. Now I just need to get onto this element here. Oh, I've, tur I've turned another element on. You can manipulate these knobs here and try and turn on the elements, but there's already one on, so I'm just going to shoot for this one. Try and toast myself. Now, as you can see in the bottom right of the corner, there are two faces of bread, and you need to get each face of yours toasted. And there's you can also burn parts of your toast if you don't get an even crisp. So right now, I'm getting a pretty even burn. And we don't want to go above 100. Shit, I did. 102%. That's not good. But it looks delicious. It looks like a golden, lovely piece of toast. And now I'm going to try this side. So if I wasn't to get the entire piece of bread on the elements here, it would probably cook unevenly. And that would reduce the score at the end of the level. Okay, 75%, 80%, 90%. Okay, I'm going to skid off. Oh, not quite. 97, 98. 99, 100, oh beautiful, I am toast, slightly overcooked. Only got to be 82% edibility, 71 toast quality, 195 deliciousness, blah blah blah, okay that's lovely. Self raising the bar, I'm going to go right ahead into the next level here. So the story continues and Mr. Merton is saying that he was distressed because he thought that his house had been broken into. Little does he know the bread got away and started trying to cook itself. So here we are in the living room I believe. Yes this looks like a living room and he's got stuff everywhere because he's just moved into his house. Now this level is a bit less straightforward because there isn't things that uh, obviously you can see that will allow you to cook yourself. The first perhaps is that heater over there. Um, the second is if you drop this bowling ball onto the TV here, the TV will blow itself up and start catching fire and you can use that to toast yourself. Um, and just like in the last level, there are things that you can get on your toast to make your deliciousness better. So there's a bit of jam here. There's also butter in the pot. I don't know why this guy would leave butter, a whole block of butter <laughs> sitting in a pot in his living room. It's so bizarre. Anyway. I'm going to avoid going for all of that stuff. Oh, maybe I have no choice. I just broke the jam open and I'm already getting some on me. But I don't want to get too much because that just means you can't move around. Anyway, what I'm going to try and do is get on and push that bowling ball onto the TV. So I'm going to scoot along these shelves here. Which means that I've got to come along this way and get onto the couch first. So here we go. Let's get onto the couch. Flick on. Okay, we're on the shoebox, and we're flicking onto the couch. Masterfully done. Here we go. Moving along the couch here. Left trigger, right trigger. Right bumper, left bumper. Just moving along. That's another technique that you can use to move quickly. Oh, I have a shot at the pillow nearly. Okay, I'm just going to try and get onto this shelf here. And flick a wrap. Oh, nope. Not quite. Here we go. Oh, I'm on the shelf and I'm smashing all of his beers and his alcohol and such. We don't care about that. We're just a piece of bread. Oh, smashing his glasses. Okay, here we go. Scooting along here. Getting past this Grimble Grumble game, whatever that is. 
And I'm going to try and flick onto the top of this shelf on the left here. Which may prove to be difficult. Anybody who's looking at me thinking, oh, this guy sucks, he can't handle his bread. Well, I can handle my bread, buddy, and this game is a lot harder than it looks. So, you should definitely give it a try. It's a great game. Oh, okay, here we go. I've got the right bumper stuck on top of this shelf here, and I can swing up and right trigger. Here we go, but I'm losing grip. Whew. So I made it on top of this shelf here. With a lovely looking house teapot. That's kind of weird. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's keep going. We've got a goal here. Whoa, that was close. Flicking on top. One of the great things about this game is the, the little quirks. See, look at these titles of the books here. They're all to do with bread. Yeast is Yeast. Encyclopedia Britannica, Volume 6. So, it's sort of punny in that they take real life um, titles of things and convert them into to bread things. So, here we go. Bredator, yeast is yeast, Rome dough, Romy dough, I assume that's Romy dough, meant to be Romeo. Yep, Romy dough and Juliet. Classic. That's great. You'd have to be pretty creative to come up with a game where you have to play as a piece of bread and toast yourself anyway. So, the creators have done very well with this one. Okay, now I'm going to try to scoot along this wall here. Get over to the other shelf. Come on. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's going on? Here we go. Let's keep going. Let's wreck his candles in the process. Oh. The camera angle makes a big difference in terms of how you maneuver in this. So, you'll notice that the camera is kind of on the piss and I'm spinning it around a lot, but that's because it makes a difference in terms of how your bread moves. I really don't want to climb up this Jenga because, like Jenga in real life, the thing is prone to fall down. I could try and spin around it. Oh, it's just the hard to, hard to move. Okay, I'm just going to fall down here. Oh, get a bit of that grip back and now I'm going to try and move across the wall. Uh-oh, come on. Left trigger, right bumper, left trigger, right bumper. Here we go. Left trigger, right bumper. Falling down here past the bars. Probably going to knock it off. Oh, not quite. Whatever. Let's keep moving. We're nearly there. We're nearly at our goal. Oh, we knocked that off. Whatever that thing was. Some kind of ornament. Let's keep moving. Oh, come on, bread. Just cooperate with me. There we go. Here we go. Bit of momentum here. Oh, don't fall off. Not now. Okay. Now the other thing you can do is grab onto objects solidly and then try and move them about. So I'm going to try and nudge this bowling ball off here. It's going to fall onto the TV. Here we go. Bam. And it is on fire. That is exactly what we wanted. Now I'm going to just fall down onto it. Easy as that. Easy as making toast. Here we go. 20%. This is moving very quickly. 60, 70, 80, 90, oh, oh, oh god, oh, I'm overcooking a little bit, that's fine, so once this hits 100 I'm going to try and end the level and see what score we get, somehow I lost edibility during that, I'm at 99, 90, 100%, I got a B again, how did the edibility drop, it was at 99, I am not sure, Anyway, I'm going to stop messing about with this great game. If you guys liked the video, don't hesitate to give it a like and subscribe. I'm going to be putting out a couple more I Am Bread videos, simply because there are other game modes and such that I haven't explored. And don't forget to check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching and have a good day.